hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to carry out a um, buffer analysis and um, using them um, arcgis so it helps you define um, a region of interest maybe a region of concentration from a source point right good so um we are going to use um these three vector representations on today's tutorial we have the points the lines and the polygons right good so we are going to see how to create buffers with um, these um vector data now first thing you need to note is that um when you want to um, perform buffer analysis your data should be in a projected crs so that you can have what um, some linear um, units right good so all our data um, are projected to utm zone 31 you can see that um, the coordinates are also displayed in what in meters right good so that's actually very important so you come to geo processing and then you select buffer right good so so we click on that now we have the buffer it creates some um, polygons around input features to what to a specified distance so we have um, the input can be in point lines and polygons so the first input will be what the points right good so we have the points there now it's asking us for the linear unit now you have um, different units to use you can decide to use centimeters decimeters feet but we are going to use meters and then let's say we are looking at what a 10 meter radius right good for our linear unit then if you also want to use a field perhaps in your maybe in your data set you have specified a field with which you want to use them um, to create what your buffer zone you can also what you can use it now for the side it is um not highlighted because you can't create what the side type for what for points data right good so you need to note that even the end type you can't create it because it is fixed to what to full right good and then it is always what round right good so then for the method you can use either planar or geodesic always remember to use what the help to give you better insight of what each of these um, options mean right good if we leave all other parameters as default as they are we can click on ok to now see the output of what this um, buffer of 10 meters from our points right good we now have our output right good so for each of the points we have specified what a 10 meter buffer zone so we can now estimate the impact or maybe know the affected them um, entities within what this zone so that is for the point um, data now we still come back to geo processing click on buffer this time around we are going to use what the lines right good so for the lines we still want to use 10 meters as what the unit we told you if you have a field under your attribute table you can select it from here now you can see that the side type and then the end type are highlighted because we are using what a linear feature right good at first when we put imputed the point feature they were not highlighted so now you can now select if you want a um, full for the buffer or you want to the left or to the right so we are going to use full and then we are now going to use to the right so that you now see the difference then for the end type if you want it to be round or you want it to be flat right good so let's go with round then when we are going with right we now go with what flat to see the what to see the difference so we leave other parameters as default as they are and then we click on ok now you see it is round and then it's on what it's on both sides right good so this is the implication of what the parameters that we have indicated why we imputed what our point our line data right good so we come back to geoprocessing to buffer we are still going to use what um, lines now this time around instead of having it as full let's say we need it to the right hand and then instead of having the end type to be round let's have it as what flat now for the linear units we are going to use a linear unit more than 10 so that we now see okay let's use a linear unit less than 10 so that we now see that it will be within our 10 meter buffer that was what that was round so that's another way to validate if what um, the 5 meter will fall inside of our 10 or it will fall outside of our 10 so you know that from the road or let's say from the linear fissure we said we need them 10 meters round the linear fissures right good so now we are saying we need what 5 meters on or maybe towards the right hand side so it should be inside of what the first buffer region right good so this helps you to identify maybe if you want to bring out some subsets from maybe the impact or maybe 
the affected areas so we leave other parameters as default as they are and then we still click on ok good so you now see that um, towards the right we have what the um, the buffer within our um, 10 meters right good so it did not um, go outside of what the 10 meters because we have provided a lower what linear unit now we can still come up to geoprocessing to buffer we have um, imputed our points and then we have imputed our lines so let's see the polygons we come to polygons for the linear unit let's use 15. so these um, values these units these parameters are dependent on the project you have at hand dependent on what you are trying to achieve right good so if you have um, a point feature you want to know the impact within 100 meters radius you are going to change it to 100 meters if maybe you have a line you want to know the impact to the left or to the right at a particular distance you use that distance what for your linear unit right good so it is not fixed it is dependent on what the project you have attained so um for the polygon we can have what the side type to be either full or outside only now the outside only is very interesting it gives you what a different perspective of your polygon so we are going to see that as the um the latter part of today's tutorial so first off let's go with the full now you can see that the end type is not highlighted because by default it will be what it will be round right good so let's click on ok now let's take out the other buffer results and then we should add that of the polygon so if we decide to change the fill color to none and then we change the outline color to something like blue we try to make this about five okay that's too thick let's make it about three then we click on okay this now gives you what the buffer zone at your specified distance right good so now let's come back to um geoprocessing back to buffer then we are still using what the polygon right good then we say 15 then instead of full let's go with um, outside only then you are now going to see what um always remember to use the help it's very important because it helps you yeah understand each of the parameters that we have here right good so let's see how the result will be good so let's take this out and then you now see that instead of covering the inner part the buffer zone that was produced actually covered what the outer part not the inner part right good so on to this tutorial we have shown you um using um arcgis how you can carry out um buffer analysis using points lines and polygons and then we have walked you through yeah um using the three vector data type and then you've also seen what the output so so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular gis and um, solving related problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial and sure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye